everyone, it's Heather. I'm here with a process video today. Um, I'm going to be using um, this Mambi paper pad. It's called Hello Beautiful. And there's lots of like craft and pastel colors and lots of gold um, foiling and gold glitter in it. And if you guys have watched my previous haul video, I think this is in it. Um, this is a picture of my daughter and I on Easter last year while wow, she was having her Easter egg hunt at my mom's house. And, um, actually I think it was like the day before Easter or something. But anyways, um, I just wanted to use the real, like, soft pastels to bring out the, the color in her pants. Um, they were like a real soft pastel, like corally color and um, so that's why I picked this background and then I'm trying to find a good cut apart um, to put beside it and I was between the one that says I love you to the moon and back and then um, the one that says love this so much with the big um, gold heart on it and I really wanted to bring some gold into this layout um, and I figured that that would be a great way to um, incorporate the gold and then also I can bring in if I use the gold from that then I can also bring in some gold and um, some other areas with different things so that is where I'm gonna go with this um, layout and this layout took me 38 minutes to complete um, which is a little bit longer than normal for me um, it usually takes me between 20 and 27 minutes, um, but I had some interruptions that you'll see in a minute, so, um, that is why it took me a little bit longer, and I was struggling with it, um, in a couple places. So, right now I'm just trying to find a craft that kind of matches that real light craft. Most of my craft paper is, like, the dark craft. And um, in this collection, it's a lighter craft. So I kind of wanted to find one that somewhat matched it. It doesn't match it perfectly, but it's pretty close. So I'm just going to mat that photo on that craft cardstock. Um, and it's just regular cardstock. There's nothing special about it. It's just regular old craft cardstock. Um, and then... I don't know what I do next. <laughs> um, yes, I'm going to use this washi that I got gifted from a pocket letter. It's the Little Bee washi, and it's got the gold XOXO on it, and it's super thin. And if you guys have watched my previous process video, I mentioned that this washi um, doesn't want to stick down, so somebody had commented and said that they just use like an adhesive on it and I started with the glossy accents just kind of rubbing it on the back with my finger and it just did not work um I used it for this top one and it, it worked but you can see the glossy accents when it like smears when I rub it down I guess with my finger um so in the video you can't see where it kind of like the glossy accents you know it's glossy so you can see it it's not matte so that kind of irks me so I grabbed my um matte medium and I'm going to use that sorry for my big head there I do apologize and I'm in my pajamas because it's nighttime. <laughs> um so yeah I'm just going to glue that down in the back so I know that it's not going to come up and then um, I'm going to put another strip of that down, actually, in just a second, um, at the bottom of the page. Like, I'm kind of framing the picture and um, the little note or the little card out. Like, I'm framing it. So I'm going to put this same washi down here. And this time I'm going to use the matte medium. And I'm going to use a really like thin brush and I'm just going to put it where I want it and then I'm going to push it down 
with the other side of the paintbrush. Um, and I feel like that worked very well. There was no extra um, spilling out over the sides, you know. Um, and it, if it did, it was matte, so it doesn't really matter. You can't really see it. Um, so I'm going to do that. And just, like I said, just a really thin brush because this washi is super thin. And I'm rubbing it down with the um, end of the brush. Or not the brush. The end of the paintbrush. <laughs> so I'm not smearing it like I did with my fingers on the top one. Um, and then I'm going to flip it over into the same, same thing to the other side. And then I'm going to also put the matte medium over top of the washi on the back. Just to ensure that it does not come up. Um... So if, you know, one day down the road it does decide to start peeling up, it won't because it's glued down um, and sealed. <laughs> so uh, there's that. I really, really like this paper line. It's super pretty and it's, um, I feel like, really good for Easter pictures especially with Easter right around the corner. I am a whole year behind on scrapbooking, which isn't bad compared to what I used to be. I used to be like two years behind. Um, I'm just looking through my stash and trying to find uh, some stickers to put on here. And this is from the Kiss Kiss collection. And it says, um, I love you more than, and then it has a line. And I will end up writing something on there. I just didn't write anything in this video. Um, I totally forgot about it until just now. <laughs> um, I pulled out the Heidi Swap Planner stickers and also the Create Paper Craft, uh, the little tiny words, I guess. Um, and they're like a cream color with gold foiling. And then there's the craft ones with the black. And I'm going to use one of the cream ones with the gold foiling. And it says, Moments Captured. I absolutely love this picture of my daughter and I. I used, um, I had my mom take it and with my phone and um, I put like a filter on it. I don't know what filter I put on it, but I used some kind of filter and I just like the way it looks. It's super pretty. Um, so I glued this down and it just didn't seem to be laying right. So I'm going to put a little extra adhesive back there behind it so it'll lay down better. And I'm going to grab these Heidi Swap stickers and I'm going to use a couple of those. And these are little like banner flag things. And I'm going to use two of those. One is like a pink corally and then the other one is gold foiled like um, stripes. And in the video it kind of looks like it's black and white. and It's not. It's like clear and gold. And I had to fix that one because it was on crooked. <laughs> And then I'm going to use one of these flowers. These are super pretty in person. They have the gold foiling outline. So I'm going to use two of those. And um, I'm looking through some other stickers that I have. And I try to use a couple different ones. Um, ooh, my chair. Uh, I try using a couple different ones, but they weren't matching right. So... Um, there's some more from the Beautiful Sheet Collection, and I wanted to use this beautiful one, but it was just not the right color scheme. It was too bright of colors and not soft enough and pastel enough, so I'm going to go with these, um, Mambi stickers, and they're the clear photo stickers, and I'm going to use, I have black and white ones, and I'm going to use these white ones, and, um, right now I'm just kind of looking through them. And trying to figure out what exactly I want to put on. Um, they're all like love and, you know, things like that. And I use this one and it says my girl. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and then I am going to use this one. And it says, you stole my heart. You can't see it on the video very well. But you can see it in person. 
Um, and then I'm going to look through this washi booklet thing. And I will say I, I really do like this little thing. I really love this floral washi. It is so pretty. I'm going to use it. Actually, I was so thankful that they had two in the little book. Um, so I'm going to use both of them on this layout. I just really love the floral. It's so pretty. And... Hmm. I'm going to use a little heart with the same floral print on it. And then I'm just looking through some more of the Heidi Swap stuff that I have. Um, because it really matches well with this scheme that I'm going with. And pulled out some of these gold um, like chipboard stickers. And I'm going to use a couple of the stars. And I'm just going to place them on the little a couple of the little dots. And then I'm going to place this one right kind of over the little heart a little bit. Sorry, I was interrupted by my husband coming in and giving me a kiss. Um, so I stopped the recording. <laughs> um, so where was I? Um, putting some of the gold little... Um, stars around and I think I'm going to do the title next yes and I'm going to use these really pretty gold glitter thickers and I will say that these are some of my favorite thickers I love them they're like tall and skinny and they, I just like the, the foam thickers the best they're my favorite because they stick really well and they don't come off, but if you try to peel them off, they come off pretty easily if you need to, like, reposition them. Um, so the title of this layout, as you can tell from the um, title of the video, is A Love Like No Other. And um, I just feel like, I don't know why, that was just kind of what popped in my head. Like I've said in previous videos, I'm not really good with um, titles. They don't come easy to me. Um, I don't. I can't come up with them easily. Like some of my titles are just plain Jane, nothing special about them. But this one kind of popped in my head, and um, it's a really long title, but I used it just because it popped in my head, and it was definitely different, and it wasn't like just the normal. I don't know whatever title I would normally put. <laughs> Um, and so it's going to be a love like no other. And then underneath it, I'm going to use, um, some of the Webster pages, beautiful chic, um, pink letter stickers, and I'm going to put mother and daughter. So a love like no other mother and daughter is the whole title, I guess. Um, we are super close and have been since the day she was born. And um, I just love that about our relationship. And I have the same relationship with my mother. And I definitely wanted to have the same relationship with her as my mother and I do. I feel like um, the relationship with a mother and daughter is just different, you know, a different kind of love, a different kind of relationship. And, um, that's why I guess the title kind of popped in my head. Now I do only have one child. She's my only child. So I don't have a son, so I can't compare it to having a boy. Um, so I'm sure it's the same as if you have a boy, I'm, I'm positive it's the same, but she's my daughter. So, um, I could have put mother and child, you know what I mean? Just the a bond and relationship that you have with your child is special. So that's kind of what I was going for in this title. Um, and I'm using my ruler again. Yay. <laughs> Yay for keeping things straight. <laughs> that did not sound right, but you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> the title. Um, and yeah. That is, I think, going to be it. I think that's going to be all that I do to this. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And give me a thumbs up if you did like it. Thank you for your kind comments. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.